Hello everyone and welcome back to the online spoken English class. This module is aimed at the common errors which we make while writing or speaking English language. Let us discuss some of the common errors. Lie and lay. Lie means to rest. And lay means to put. So, don't say, I am going to lay down for an hour. Say, I am going to lie down for an hour. Now, let us understand the usage of lay with the help of an example. We should not say, please lie this letter on the desk. What is the correct sentence? Please lay this letter on the desk. Now repeat the correct sentences after me. I am going to lie down for an hour. Please lay this letter on the desk. Grow and grow up. To grow means to become bigger and to grow up means to develop into an adult. For example, we should not say tomatoes grow up best in direct sunlight. What should we say? Tomatoes grow best in direct sunlight. Now, let us take one more example. If we say, when I grow, I shall be a doctor. Is this correct? No, this is incorrect. What is the correct sentence? When I grow up, I shall be a doctor. So now repeat the correct sentences after me. Tomatoes grow best in direct sunlight. When I grow up, I shall be a doctor. Both raise and rise are verbs that refer to something going up. But both are used in slightly different contexts. Let us understand how. To raise means to lift or move something or someone upward or to a higher level. Raise is a transitive verb and so it requires an object. For example, one can raise funds, raise children, raise voice, etc. Now, rise means to move upward. If something rises, it means it goes up itself. Rise is an intransitive verb and it doesn't require any object. Let us use these two words in sentences to make the difference clear. We say, he rises very early in the morning. We don't say, he raises very early in the morning. We say, raise your hand if you know the answer. We don't say, raise your hand if you know the answer. Have a look at these two sentences. Here, both the words raise and rise are used together to make the difference more clear. We need to raise more funds to help the company rise to top three. The raise they gave is not enough as the expenses are on the rise. Make and do. To make primarily means to construct or manufacture something. While to do means to accomplish a thing. For example, it would be wrong if we say the carpenter did a large table. 
so what should we say the carpenter made a large table now look at the other example if we say you must make your work carefully is this correct no this is an incorrect sentence so what is the correct sentence you must do your work carefully now please repeat the correct sentences after me the carpenter made a large table you must do your work carefully now there are certain very commonly used idioms with make for example to make a mistake to make a promise to make an excuse to make fun of etc similarly there are many idioms with do for example to do good to do one's best to do a lesson to do exercise etc have a look at this set of words stay and remain to stay means to live for a short time as a guest or a visitor and to remain means to be left after part has been taken or destroyed for example it would be wrong if we say we remained in a very good hotel what should we say we stayed in a very good hotel now let's see the usage of remain in a sentence if we say few mangoes have stayed on the tree it is a wrong sentence this sentence is incorrect so what is the correct sentence few mangoes have remained on the tree now repeat the correct sentences after me we stayed in a very good hotel few mangoes have remained on the tree pick and pick up to pick fruits or flowers means to pull them away with the fingers to pick up means to lift up from the ground so don't say we picked up flowers in the garden say we picked flowers in the garden now let us understand the usage of pick up we should not say the naughty boy picked a stone what should we say the naughty boy picked up a stone now repeat the correct sentences after me we picked flowers in the garden the naughty boy picked up a stone in this module we learned that by using correct words at the correct places we can avoid making errors in the next module we shall deal with some more common errors thank you